Hey guys, Mike here from MasterYourMix.com and today I'm here with a very quick tip on how to get rid of plosives in your mixes. So first off, what is a plosive? Well, if you have a singer that's too close to a mic, sometimes when they say words that have like P's or B's or T's, sometimes there's a lot of air that gets pushed into the microphone and you get almost this kind of like, like that kind of sound, you get this like that wind hitting that microphone, right? And it can become very distracting and it's sometimes hard to get rid of in the context of a mix. But I'm gonna show you a very quick little tip here for when you run into situations where maybe you only have one or two words that have that kind of sound and you don't wanna go extreme and start cutting everything in your mix or cutting everything on a certain channel, but instead you wanna just take care of those little moments where the plosives happen. So let me just quickly show you a track that I'm currently working on that has this going on, and I'll show you a little tip on what you could do to improve it. So first off, let's listen to this track here. So it's just a vocal, and in this section of the song, there's kind of like a, a beatboxy thing, like a little acapella kind of scat kind of thing. So let's check this out on its own. So you get the idea there, right? But there's definitely like two or three spots in here where I can really hear that the singer is really close to the mic and you're getting that plosive sound. Right around here is one of them. You can hear it almost sounds like he's tapping the, the microphone. There's another one right here. Just slightly. And then another big one right here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of them real quick. All you gotta do is just simply bring in an EQ that has a high pass filter. So I've got the Waves SSL channel, I'm loading this in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we've got the high pass filter set to be automated. So in Pro Tools, if you hold Control, Option, Command on a Mac, you can select to enable or disable automation for a specific knob here. So in this case, I already had the uh, vocal high pass at 100 hertz. But what I want to do here is I want to make sure that when we hear those loud boosts of low end that we're cleaning it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip over to automation mode in Pro Tools. So I'm just going to switch over. Now that we've made that automatable, it's in the menu here. And what we're going to do is we're just simply going to take this one section of the song and we're going to automate so that the high pass filter just goes really high and gets rid of all of that low end and cleans it up. So let's just do that. I'm gonna go real extreme with it right now. Do it here as well. And you don't wanna go with too wide of sections because if you do that, then it's gonna be noticeable that the low end disappears. I think the other one was right around here. Right here. So this one's not as crazy, but let's just clean that up and we'll go like that. So now that we've automated this, I'm gonna play this through and listen to it and you're not gonna notice that little poo, that heavy low end boost. You're not gonna notice that as much. And if you wanna just see the automation in action, if you pay attention to right here, as I play this back, you'll actually see this knob jump all the way up. So I've got rid of it in the first one there and let's check the other ones. There you go, that's it. Super fast, super easy to do. And all you gotta do is just use a little bit of automation and a high pass filter. It's a very quick, easy fix. And if you only have a couple moments in a song where you're hearing this, this is the easiest way to go. If your singer is constantly doing it, well then I would definitely recommend getting a pop filter in front of the microphone when you're recording. And that should alleviate those breaths from hitting the microphone. But uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want to learn more mixing tips like this, make sure to visit MasterYourMix.com. On that website, I'm always giving away new tutorials and podcast episodes and a whole bunch of other great stuff to help you create pro sounding mixes from your home studio. And if you actually go to the website right now, I'm giving away a free download for what I call the Ultimate Mixing Blueprint. It's a guide to using EQ and compression in your mixes. And it shows you what fre which frequencies to pay attention to, which ones to boost, which ones to cut, what sort of compression settings you should try, and the idea is to help you get started right away and take out all of the guesswork so that you're not trying to figure out which frequencies are important. Instead, it's going to point you in the right direction. So make sure to check that out, MasterYourMix.com. And that's it for today's video, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.